Let's take a walkthrough for Hamcation 2025. Stick around and we'll get right to it. Hey, welcome back guys, Jason, KM4ACK. We're going to do a walkthrough, uh, the building for Hamcation 2025. A Little bit noisy in there, but I'll do my best to uh, make some notes as we go along. You can see probably the stream of people coming in behind me. It's gonna be busy inside. Let's get going. All right, right inside the door this year. This is where MFJ used to be. Uh, one of my favorite antennas for an HT signal stuff. Let's uh, turn around over here. Try not to make you guys dizzy today. Master Ain't's here. And then uh, along the wall over here on this side is HRO. So we'll just uh, try to make a loop around this section of the building. And uh, then we'll go ahead and venture off into the rest of it. ABR Industries over here on the right. Miss Shannon talking to some uh, happy clients. And guys, if you're uh, interested in some ABR stuff, I will leave a link down in the description below where you can save 10%. We got the Straight, uh, Straight Key Century Club on this side. And I'm gonna flip you guys around. This is W2 HVH. These guys make some fantastic enclosures for 705s. So if you got a 705, you definitely might want to check this out. So get you a shot of that so you can get that website right there. Right, we got some engineering here. And it looks like RF Power is over on uh, this side, right beside them in the booth. You guys, I'm uh, doing my best to keep people out of the shot, but that's a little difficult on uh, during these shows when uh, everybody is inside the building. Expert amps over here. And then if uh, we turn around, you can kind of see the way it was. See the way we just came? We'll go ahead and flip around here. Flex Radio has got a massive booth, they always do. So they take up uh, this entire section through here with Flex Radio. And then literally, I think this entire section here is all Flex Radio. Get you guys turned around over here. Quarter Century Wireless Association. And then this is kind of cool. These guys got a lot of cool little parts. This VE2DX Electronics. So Canadian company down here. All sorts of neat little gadgets that they have out on their table. So pretty interesting. I've definitely got to come back by and talk to these guys before I leave out. So check those guys out. There's a website for you right there. And then let's go ahead and wander on down the other side of this aisle. Elecraft is here, obviously. Always have a nice booth. Love going up and checking out their radios. Then, of course, Heil Ham Radio is here. So they've got their booth going. And then uh, the last one on this side is Ham Radio Prep. Hey, buddy. How are you? How are you doing, man? Good. Good. To Good. Good to see you as well. All right. Always a interruption or two, but we'll just have to edit that part out. Coming around the end, then we've got ICOM. ICOM's got their usual display here. I was hoping to see, uh, hoping to get over there and get my hands on that new radio, be able to play with it a little bit. Probably not something I'm going to uh, pick up for the shack. Not quite portable enough for my taste, but I still want to get over there and check it out. Now, this whole wall right here is uh, where you can come and get hats and shirts and uh, anything you want pretty much, uh, garment wise customized with your call sign on it. So those guys are here every single year. Gold medal ideas. And I think that is the first section of the building. So let's go ahead and uh, start walking through what I call the main section of the building. Building's kind of split up. It's all open, but it's kind of split up into three, uh, three different sections. So you got uh, the center section, which is what we're walking through here. Now where you can see Yezu, there's John standing there. And uh, from the main, then you've got uh, two, 
uh, two sides or one uh, on each end, I guess is what I'm trying to say, where uh, it's a little bit of a, it, it, like I said, it's all the same building, but uh, it is uh, split off a little bit. Wild Sage Native Jewelry. And of course, my friends at TN07. And I tell you what, their booth is so dang busy. I can't hardly see him, but there's Bob hiding back there. So, and Laura will be right over here talking to another customer. So, still using the green mask. Guys, it's still one of my favorite masks to have. And looks like they are running a show special there for 140 bucks. If you happen to be at the show this weekend, you can take advantage of that. And then we've got uh, Shack in the Box right here. So, and these guys have got a new, a new box that they're doing back here. I believe that's a redesigned 705 box. So, that one is really sharp looking. All right, we got the shortwave amateur radio log on this side. And I believe that we got one more booth here, and then I'm gonna flip you guys around again and walk back down. RT Systems is here. So they make programming cables for just about every radio you can imagine. The only reason I don't use them uh, is because they are not Linux compatible. All right, then the sign man. So more customizable merchandise. They've got a nice booth on this wall. And then let's see if we can flip you guys around. Soltac, man, these guys are here every year. These uh, lights, to my understanding, are made in Alabama. And it seems like they come out with a new product uh, for Hamcation every single year. And uh, most of the YouTubers end up with that flashlight. If you didn't buy it, you're going to see it at camp tonight and want it tomorrow. Lido Radio is uh, here. And uh, guys, these are the mounts that I run in my truck. That's what I've got my 891 mounted to in the truck. So, and in fact, I use some of their suction cup mounts inside the Wrangler. So, been using Lido for several years. Really, really enjoy theirs. We'll shoot down these middle aisles here in just a second. So, if you're into CW, there are CW keys floating around everywhere at Hamcation. So these guys have got some really nice looking stuff here. All right, so we'll go ahead and hang a right over here in just a second and shoot down this first middle aisle. I got it in the box. All right, VHQ Hex is here. So. I think I did an interview with him last year. It might be the year before. And then we've got a big Boy Scout group over here. So the Scouts have uh, radio scouting going on this morning. I'm going to sneak through their little demo going on. And my friends at Chat Radio have their usual big booth. There's Jim. These guys are the ones that uh, have that uh, coax adapter kit that I've... Uh, had on the channel and ran through the newsletter a couple of times. I'm just going to flip around. I'm not going to go all the way back down this aisle because I don't want to get back into the middle of the scouts right now. But did want to give you guys kind of a quick look. And this is uh, more of a youth section right through here. So we got the uh, Yoda contest and then Yoda Jr. And then back down that way, you should be able to see the uh, scouts down there. All right, we'll go ahead and flip around and go out this direction this time. Giga Parts has a nice big booth here on the end. And then we've got Messi and Poloni right here across from them. Turning around, we've got Ham Radio Deluxe Software. And then of course, I'm gonna turn back around for a second at the Giga Parts booth right on the tail end. We've got uh, Dennis there from DigiRig. I know a lot of you guys are using DigiRig, and Dennis is always out here showing people uh, exactly how easy it is to use his product. More CW keys right here on the end cap. Get you kind of a long shot. I can't really get up there to it because uh, they were kind of full there for a second. 
And then we'll flip around and walk down this other center aisle here. So ARRL is going to be right through here as well. So their booth kind of starts down this direction. We have repeater book right here. And then as soon as I turn around, this entire other side of this aisle is going to be just the ARRL. So there's David. We'll say hi to him in a few minutes. And then, oh yeah, this is that new uh, uh, Dream Big uh, giveaway that they're doing. If you join or renew or set up auto renew or donate to the Diamond Club, you can uh, get entered into that with the ARRL. They always have a very large section. Always have a very large section uh, here in Orlando as well as at Dayton each year. Not quite as much of a crowd here now with the CW keys, so we'll take a quick shot of those as we walk through. And then we'll go ahead and sneak down this other aisle. This one's a diamond antenna, takes up the entire right side of this, so they always have a large demo here. So, I mean, literally the entire side of this center aisle is diamond. Flipping around, Buddy Pole is on the other side. They always have uh, a couple of booths here. You guys might recognize that character. It's a uh, gray man Poda spotted in the wild. So there's a cobweb oh, antenna. <laughs> and then moving on down, this is another booth. I need to come back by here and check out kind of some of the cool things he has. We'll just get you guys a quick shot of that real right there. Always some neat stuff, so I'll definitely come back around in a few minutes and talk with him. Check this desk mat out. That is pretty sharp. If you don't like the black, you can get, uh, get it in white instead. All right, and we're back to Soltac, uh, the uh, Soltac lights. So we will make our way, I believe I've been down this entire, uh, every aisle in this building. So I think I've covered the entire thing. walk down to the far end though and see who else we can see in here and i only thought i was done with this building i missed one little section here so tower electronics all kinds of little goodies and gadgets that you can get has a very large booth here at orlando each year we'll kind of take a quick peek inside their booth just circle through and then scoot back out of here i want to show you guys this other wall over here a new vendor this year is Spec 5. So Spec 5 has got, uh, got a booth here. And check out all of the Mesh-tastic devices. So they got quite an array of devices if you're into Mesh-tastic. Check out Spec 5. 12 volt power is also here. And then, of course, they have merged or bought out Comet. I'm not sure which way exactly that worked, but they do have all of the Comet antennas out here as well. All right, now maybe I finished up with the uh, center section of the building. Let's go ahead and head down to the other end and see who's in the far end of the building. Quicksilver radio, very similar to Tower Electronics, all kinds of goodies and gadgets here. You guys can see the pile of coax that they've got across. And then power cables, coax adapters, all kinds of different components that they carry. So, thank you. All right, let's take a look over here. We got Transil Corporation. Again, more coax adapters. That's one nice thing about coming to the show. If you don't buy anything else, you always have to walk out with a few coax adapters. I think it's something that everybody uh, will admit that they can never have enough of. All right, here's the Armalock guys. This is the cage that I put. I bought this uh, in Huntsville 
of last year, uh, 2024, and put this on the 705. In fact, there it is, right there. So love that cage on that radio. I do have to come back by here and pick up a antenna relocation kit. If you're into weather stations, they've got a uh, booth here for ultimeter, uh, weather instruments. So very nice display that those guys have got going on. And then I'm going to flip around here real quick and show you guys the other side. Wolf River Coils is always down on this end of the building, I do believe. And then uh, right across from them is DX Engineering. And we'll shoot up through this center aisle here real quick and we'll wrap back around. Take a look. I'm not even sure who's in this section. But we'll give you guys a quick look. I did just spot uh, Ham Radio 2.0 in the wild as well. Looks like he's uh, doing a little video himself this morning, so won't bother him at this moment. We'll come back and aggravate him in a few, though. All right, Wireman always has a nice large booth here at Hamcation. And that's another one that I almost always buy is uh, some of their power cable. Their zip cable is, uh, that's where almost all of my stuff comes from. And then of course, uh, you can talk to an astronaut in space. Ares USA is here, always with a really cool booth. And it is unbelievably busy here all the time. A lot of interest in uh, talking to space with a radio. And of course, AMSAT's right around the corner from them. So, and then I believe we're going to be right back around to Wolf River here. If I didn't get turned around coming around this booth. So, there we go at Wolf River. We'll scoot right on down here. And guys, I think we're just about at the end of this. Let's take a, uh, we're going to take one more right-hand turn and see if there's anybody down here on this end. But I believe we have just about covered it. Oh, I did miss one. I missed Alpha Antenna. So there's the Alpha booth and they uh, and Cable Experts. Those two are the ones that uh, will probably close this out. Oh, you know, guys, I did miss one thing here, and this is a big one. This is Kenwood's booth. I turned the wrong direction when I came through here a while ago. They're right across from uh, the wire man, but I want to try to get you guys a shot of the Kenwood radio. Good morning, Don. Hey, what are you up to? <laughs> Just getting a little walk-through video this morning. Any questions? No, sir, not right now, but I'm coming back to talk to you soon. All right. All right, guys, well, there's a look at uh, the main building in Hamcation 2025. That Kenwood is probably the most exciting radio that's going to come out in 2025. I know everybody's kind of uh, all about the Yezu HF radio, but I'm most excited about that Kenwood 2 meter just for the APRS capabilities. All right, y'all have a good one. We'll see you on the next one. 7-3.